Hello friends, welcome to Metaphor Consulting Learning Portal. Today we will be learn how to do auto batch split in SAP S4 HANA 2022 environment referring to EWM embedded system. This video has been released based on the considerations of many job seekers request. In fact, we are simulating this case into one live environment where we implemented successfully this scenario. Currently, as per the presented screen, can identify there are multiple batches are splitted on the request of batch number, quantity, or packed quantity, or standard pack quantity. So there are many scenarios is may falls in this particular environment. However, we can able to show you one scenario. According to that, you guys can able to simulate the different different scenarios based on the uh, own request or requirement. Prior to that, let's move towards the prerequisite section. So in prerequisite, definitely be required a purchase order number. Release procedure is essential if the release matrix is applicable. Inbound delivery is definitely required. Goods received is essential and after goods received, the batch split mechanism is carried out. So these are the processes we have to follow and these are the prerequisite is mandatory for doing this activity. Let's move towards the SAP environment and execute the processes. Definitely the purchase order is required. If you have the purchase order in your hand, then go for inbound delivery directly. If you do not have the purchase order, then you have to create a purchase order. Currently, we have a purchase order in our hand, so we can able to go ahead for inbound delivery. So for inbound delivery, the transaction code is mentioned in the transaction bar that you have to follow. So the purchase order which we are having in our hand, that also be mentioned over here and go ahead. Now, how much quantity we have to take? Let's suppose we are taking the 10 quantity and going for the purchase, going for the inbound delivery creation. So inbound delivery is right now in place and created in the system with a confirmation message. Copy this inbound delivery and go ahead for GRN activity. So GRN should be carried out in the EWM environment. And while we are doing the GRN, that time will be intimate to the system that what kind of or how much we are going to do the batch split. So for an example, right now I can able to show you, we have 10 quantity in our hand and this 10 quantity we are splitting into the five different batches. So now what you can do here, you can give the quantity of five, the system will create a five different batches over here. Now you can see there are five different batches are created, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. If you count it, then this is the five batches. Let's suppose we can able to create a scenario like this. So we have 10 quantity in our hand and able to create the batches of only two. Then in that case, what you can do, you will be simulate the same case over here, execute it and in place of the five batches number, you have to put the two batch. So currently we can able to put the two batch and enter it. So system will create the two batches number. While you are going to create for two batches, must have to be understand. Currently, system is split. System does not create any batch. System just intimate that this splitation methodology is carried out. Right now, this split will be carried out for the batches only. So, what are the process you have to follow for this split to line item to make it as a batch? For that, select this row and go ahead for the batch creation. Prior to that, if you can see, then your batch number is not available. So currently you can see here where we are highlighting in the presented screen, the batch number is not available. While we are creating the batch, then the batch number is automatically populated over here and the enable screen will be automatically disabled. So let's cross check whether it is happening or not. Go for the create batch. So once you go for the create batch, right now you can see the batch number is available. Similar to that, the line item number 30 is automatically one more batch will be created if you go for the batch creation. So this batch creation is happened. 
Apart from that, there are few more informations respect to this batch also you can able to maintain as like vendor batch number. I can able to put the vendor batch number is this. Since the material is supplied by the two uh, same agency, although the batch is different, then we can able to put the vendor batch number is the same. Apart from that, the production date and expiry date of this batch also you can maintain because of the self life. Here we are maintaining few more, more processes over here that we are going to adequate and fill it up. According to that, you can also configure your system whether the production date and expiry date is required or not. If it is not required, simply put it as the disable system does not ask you any further question. Now, what should be the batch quantity? So batch quantity is the manual interventions. Here, as per the requirement, it could be the manual interventions, but you can able to configure the system into the automatic calculation too. As like if your split of a batch is 2, then automatically the quantity will become it as the 5 as well as 5. However, as per this requirement, as per this current business processes, which we considering it, the job request which they insist us for making this video for the different different quantity. Now what we can do? first quantity we can put it as 7 and third or second quantity we can able to put it as 3 so total quantity is the 10 only until it is not 10 or the quantity is not being matched the system won't be comes it as a green color so once the system is comes it as a green green color then that means it is the status is success so you can go ahead for the goods receipt activity so how to do the goods receipt activity? Goods receipt activity will be carried out over here. While doing the goods receipt, definitely the characteristics is coming into the picture because we configured the class and characteristics with the EWM embedded system. In fact, those who are do not know how to configure the uh, batch, and, uh, batch class characteristics in EWM embedded system and it, it should become automatically populate, they can prefer our video which is available in our playlist and it will give you the concrete idea now you can able to put the manufacturing date if it is required and go for the classification tab in the class classification tab there are many characteristics are available as well as respected value is available that you can able to ensure as per your requirement similar to that you will be go for the next batch class characteristics that also you can able to maintain subsequently and go for the save. So once you go for the save, then what will happen? Your two different batch number get generated. To really ensure further, what we can do? We have to put this particular product number as well as a batch number into cross-checking with the stock overview. So MMBE is the transaction code through which we can able to identify all such of activities. So put the material number over here. Also, we can able to put the batch series. So our batch series, which we created right now, that we can able to in place it. So execute. Once we execute, then what will happen? The batch number is get uh, the, the batch number which get generated that will be displayed over here. So now what will happen? The batch is created 6, 8, 2023 and series of 8. One batch was created and another batch we can able to put in the range of 5 to 8. So subsequently I have forgot the batch number. So that is the reason I am giving you the range. So in between the range we can understand what kind of number series was created. Now you can see that respecting to this particular material number there are a couple of batches we created and it is being displayed over here. So these are the way you can able to identify the list of batches which you created recently. So these two batches recently be created and these two is displaying over here. Similar to that, these are the batches which already created along with the, uh, already created today before executing these processes as we already set up. This is a live system where we can able to display and demonstrate you. So these are uh, the processes to follow the follow to fulfill the requirement of auto batch split and this is the steps to identify and confirm whether this batch 
is being generated or not. One thing I just have to confirm you while the batch get a create in SAP EWM embedded system, the nomenclature is something different. This is called the FIFO nomenclature. There are some word called the FIFO, FIFO management. So this FIFO means first in, first out. Best consideration to that, you can see here, the batch will be created this particular way. So let me select all this and able to explain further. Now, what will happen in this case, you can see the batch number will be generated. This is called the date, this is called the month, and this is called the year. And this is the subsequent series of the batch. Similar to that, the next number series will be like this date, month, year, and this. So FIFO means first in, first out, which is generated in first. In the next level of consumption, this system will automatically understand this is the first batch and it will be consumed first. And this is the second batch, it will be consumed next based on the LED, SLED. That means the life cycle of this particular batch there is a lifespan of this particular batch best consideration to that this particular scenario has been mapped if you want to understand how the fifo printing is and how we are generating the fifo and where it is going to get a display all this is available in our playlist and you can able to identify or search Definitely, this is our two-day agenda and we fulfill it. Hopefully, the job seekers who are desperately looking for this video can able to help you out. Despite of which, I just have to confirm, Metaphor Consulting is providing various kind of activities in terms of training, placement, as well as jobs, as well as your projects and intensive programming. There are many facilities are available over here for that helpline line, help line is available for 24 by 7 and our export will be help you out so contact in this number and get all these details so thank you guys for your precious time and valuable time to spare your time with us and understand this requirement we do understand you are helping us to improve our channel for that please like share and subscribe we'll be highly obliged thank you guys thank you very much